Hello everyone, Silent K here, and welcome to Weeb Pack number 4. The first game up is VR Mummy Girl. I was going to feature this in pack number 3, but it was incredibly blurry. I had to post the issue on the forums. The developer ended up patching in an option to remove post-processing. So if you do buy this game, and you have the same problem, you have to go to options, and turn low spec mode on. I don't know what the desktop mirror looks like when I turn this on and off, but make sure you turn that off if you need to. Alright. So, trigger start. I have not played this yet. I played it for like 10 minutes just to make sure. Where are we going? Okay. I played it for like 10 seconds just to make sure there were no other issues with it. How do I do? Oh, trigger. Alright, so when I was watching the trailer for this, I thought you would just like point and click to do the... the mummy wrap whipping, but you actually have to like do a whipping motion. So that's kind of cool. Although, it's probably gonna affect how easy it is to actually control this thing. Because the pointers don't actually do anything. We'll see. I don't know what the bats do either. I thought they were like some sort of limit to how far you could use a uh, smooth locomotion. Ding dong! Alright. But as far as I got in the tutorial, they did not have any effect, so... We shall see. The one thing I don't like is that it's head look. So you can't look around while you're walking straight. So yeah, pretty basic indie puzzle game as far as I can tell. But I only know what I've seen in the trailer so far, so... Oh, there's no strafing. Both... Both analog sticks to snap turn. Definitely don't like that. What are you little lads doing? After you swing the controller, you can grab it by pressing the trigger. Oh, I have boobs. Nice. Nope, not that way. <laughs> Maybe I'll get... Alright. I was testing if the finger tracking was the same as the trigger. And it does not seem like that's the case. But that's fine. Maybe Necrosis has set in on my fingers. Whoa. This scene is weird. It like auto runs in some weird direction and then after a certain amount of time passes it resets you at the middle of the thing. Is this a collectathon? I don't I can't see that girl in the side. I can't see if it's measuring what I'm collecting or not. All right. Yeah, this is a little awkward without strafing. Collect them all. If you collect 12 energy, you will get more magic circle. Magic circle will let you withstand the damage. Oh, that is some sort of meter. But I can't really look at it because it turns with my head. Also, it doesn't seem to be charging up, unless I'm at maximum right now. Yeah, I'm probably at max health, obviously, since it's health. I thought it was like some sort of collectible. Hup. Oh! Game over. Ding dong! Alright, speedrun. Alright, here we go. Oh, 
Oh my god. Ah, huh, 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 huh. You don't have to let go to grab the other one. That makes it a little easier. A little easier. <laughs> These controls are still pretty damn awkward. Hup. Come on. Oh, I didn't yank it. Gotta yank it. Don't forget to yank it. Whoa, hello. I can't see it because my own head is in the way. Oop, missed out on some health pellets that I really don't need. <laughs> like, they could have made them a collectible so that you have a reason to grab them, but they did not. Can I reach that far? Or am I supposed to jump on the spikes? Those spikes are not down for very long. Ugh! Oh, they don't hurt you. Alright. I can't even... I can't even. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Alright, we'll fast forward a bit. Alright, I'm supposed to take damage here, so... Although, it would help <laughs> if I didn't take a lot of damage. Alright. What is going on here? Help me, cow. Oh yeah, can't strafe. There's really no point for this. <laughs> like, not a terrible game idea, but execution could use a little bit of work. Both in the normal locomotion and in the the whip not the whip not the whip not doing <laughs> what you want it to do half the time. Okay, now we're getting a little bit interesting. Ah, there's no back pedal either. Ah! Okay, at least there's checkpoints. Is that what the cows are? Are the cows checkpoints? There was no indicator that there was a checkpoint. Ra! Help me, Ra! I don't even know if you're Ra. I don't think so. No, Anubis, that's the one. <laughs> Egyptian mythology, not my strong suit. I want to light that candle up. There we go. Does that do anything for me? I guess not. Whoa! Why is there stuff down here? <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's an intended path. Or if the developer just like copy pasted some stuff down there and then forgot they did. Whoa! Kind of cheesing it a little bit here, but to be honest, it's better than wrestling with the controls. I don't mind wrestling with the controls. Ow! That much in general, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please come down. I can't move. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> like, this body moves a little bit on its own. Whoa. 
so like you get near an edge and then like takes an extra step. Are these bats even a mechanic? I thought they were going to be a mechanic. But it seems like they just wander around for no reason. Whoa! You bastard. All the way back here. Alright, skip. Okay, why would I go on these platforms again? They don't seem to do anything for me. Ah! Alright, well that's a convenient checkpoint. <laughs> But yeah, as long as I don't get smacked by any of these lamps, I really don't see the point. It's not good puzzle design when you can skip like 90% of it. <laughs> like I said earlier, I thought the bats were a mechanic where you could only use smooth locomotion for a certain amount of time, and then you had to whip after a while, or they would damage you. Like, that would be really useful right about now. That way I would have incentive to actually use these things. Like, that whole section was pointless. <laughs> Even if I did it the fun way, that was, like, way too long. Like, wrestling with the controls for that whole section would have been a nightmare. Death count, 19 or 29? Probably 29. Whoa! It's doing the thing again. Alright. <laughs> I just want to see a boss at this point, and then we'll call it a wrap. Ha ha ha, rap. Unintended pun. Ding dong! Get it? <laughs> that wind sound effect is very clearly someone just whistling into the microphone. At least this one I can't die on. Why is this one like the fourth puzzle? But the ones that you can die on are the first, second, and third ones. <laughs> they should have had these ones to practice. And then the ones you can die on... ...later. How do I up? Oh. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, not bad me. See, this one you can't die on either. The difficulty for this game is all backwards. Entire sections you don't have to do. And then they have the deadly puzzles before the non-deadly ones. Although this one has issues of its own. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, ah. God damn, no strafing. And head look. I don't know if... God... Got it. Whew. Whew. Huh. <sighs> Stage clear. Only five deaths. Nice. Ah. All right, so this is the last stage one. If there's no boss at the end of this, then I will call it a wrap. Okay, boss time. Nice. I say nice, but but I'm probably going to regret this in a minute.
How? Whoa, whoa, you are fast. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to kill you. Extinguish your things? Or light them? Some of them are already lit, some of them are not. <laughs> I assume I have to climb. That's usually what you have to do in these sort of situations. Okay, I'm on his head. Okay, I got check marks. I have to... Do something. Three down. Whoa. Oh, there it is. What? Whoa. What's going on? Oh! What is this, phase two? Stop! Oh! There we go. This guy is like no threat once you're actually on him. Scratch that. Ugh. Holy crap, how many does he have now? I can't get over there. Ugh. Okay, this is awkward as hell. Am I already on phase two? How did I get on his back before? Oh. Hup. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I saw one on this side. Ow! What the hell? I didn't even do anything. What? What? Did I beat him? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go now? For the torches? 
That was a very unceremonious victory. <laughs> Stage clear. Somehow only one death. Don't ask me how. All right. Well, that was a look at VR Mummy Girl. Couple issues. Not the worst. Janky game I've ever played. <laughs> but a little bit of jank. Just a little bit. Alright, on to the next game. Alright, next up, Live 2D VR Girls. This is a tech demo. You may have heard of the Live 2D engine, which is used for anime style games. It allows the developers to take like 2D images and animate them more simply while still retaining the hand-drawn style. So this is the Live 2D Euclid engine being shown off in VR. This is free on Steam, and it's just a quick little demo. There's two scenes you can do that are a few minutes each. We'll just do one of them. We'll go with Fuka. No controllers, you just use gaze for everything. And it's just a little story, and then we're going to have to find an item. But it's just to show off what the engine can do. Come on, wake up. we got a show to do. Any day now. <laughs> Fuku was a mistake. I gotta say, it does look a little weird. <laughs> I can't read it, it's too blurry. <laughs> Sideways mouth in 3D. Looks weird. Sure, why not? Find the comic before Fuku does. Alright. Wonderful. Notomisetekuretarigatome. You just write down what the teacher says. It's not hard. I have failed my task. Too early to hang out again? We've already, we just, we just finished hanging out. Alright, well there's another one that's basically the same thing. It looks pretty decent, but it's kind of weird in VR. Like the layers seem like they're incorrect. Like there's some weird distance issue going on that makes it look kind of, I don't know, awkward. But that's free on Steam if you want to check it out. On to the next game. Alright, last up, we have Food Girls Bubbles Drink Stand VR. Or maybe it's Food Girls VR Bubbles Drink Stand. This just released in Early Access. There's actually a whole series of Food Girls games that I did not know about. They're all for flat screens, except for this one. 
The other ones are like management games. This one's just your typical make the thing for the customer game. So have not played it yet, but we'll see. Insert your ingredient. So I guess this is like level select, but I was looking at this wondering what it is. Can't pick it up. Well, I can pick it up. Torch. Is that going to launch a website or something? I'm scared to try it. No. I assumed it was like an optional thing, but all right, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's just like the developer's logo. You are very short. Language. Possibly. I sir. Do you know your socks are two different lengths? あのバカ。出てくなる材料仕入れてから出て行きなさいよ。ドリンクを作るための材料が足りないわ。ああ、もうお客さんももう来ちゃうし。ああ、もう仕事ない。とりあえず材料は私から取って。どこに材料があるか私は。Can't patch your head. Get water from the kettle. The angle is like really off on this. Can I use grip? No, I cannot. This is not made for index. Got it. What? I don't think this is how you make tea. Is it? After opening shaker, pour it into a cup until the liquid becomes the color of tea. It's already the color of tea. Oh, the cup becomes the color of tea. It was green and then turned two shades of blue. All right, now what? Water up. Ah! Why is it saying cup? I don't get it. Help me, I need instruction. Although I expect it to be green. See, this is how you make tea. You just like let it sit for a few minutes. It's called steeping. All right. Let's try again. I might have screwed up. Hey, okay. I don't want no sexual harassment lawsuits, lady. I'm only here to make money. Oh, it dings. Maybe it didn't ding before. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Ah, there we go. I didn't shake it enough. Hmm. Tastes like ecto cooler. The angle is off on picking things up. It's really awkward. Yeah, we usually seal drinks, but 
Yeah, the angle's really off. Like, this is me holding a cup straight. It is very off. Moo. You gotta set those bars appropriately. That was day one. We did absolutely nothing day one. <laughs> Ding dong! Don't tell me we're doing more tutorials. I'm a quick study. I only learn one thing per day. You need to be quiet. This is gonna happen a lot, I can tell. You can't even prep stuff while you're doing something else. Makes no sense. Listen, lady, it's my seventh day. Order up! Attach the number plate to the cup. What? Number plate? No one told me about number plates! We didn't do a tutorial for number plates! Is this it? That's it. Where did I put it? On the side. Alright. Enjoy your tea, sir. Don't underestimate when it comes to customer service. Did you recruit the guy who didn't order our stuff? Watch this. How can I help you, sir? Green tea? I guess that's green tea. 
Oh, you can prep it. I just could not before. Bam. Order up! Ugh. We should really have some way to clean this. Otherwise it's gonna like contaminate the next drink, you know, stuff like that. I need another hand. Order up! I really don't like this tea leaf system. It's a little difficult for my first day. Why is this full of stuff? Ah! Why didn't someone take this? Was that not the drink? <laughs> Why are they not taking it? I can't even reset it. Like, that makes no sense. I think we're fucked. Order up! Order up! Stop looking at me like that. Listen, I've never made tea with a shaker before. I don't get it. Who had number three? Order number three. Order number four. How do we how do we cancel? <laughs> I don't get it. There seems to be a problem with this game. Let's try that again. We'll skip all the talking and whatnot. I will try my best. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? You want... Oh yeah, I need this thing. And these things. You should really just have one green one and one brown one. Because this is a dumb system. Black tea. Done and done. Order up! Have a good day, ma'am. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy.
Yeah, 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 got it. Why is it ticking down? Let's go. Clock's ticking. I don't think it's supposed to be ticking yet. Yes, sir. How can I help you, sir? Black tea. Sir, enjoy your day. You can't switch objects between hands. You have to let go of it before you can grab it with the other one. It may be an early access, but it needs a lot of work. Where the? Where is everyone? Last time there was a huge line. I don't think we're gonna meet our quota. Oh, is it because I'm holding the thing? Is it because this is open? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that time I did. I'm gonna build a castle. You have any uh, requests? Beautiful. Game's got some bugs. <laughs> All right, one more try. All right, third time's a charm. How can I help you, sir? All right, we got black tea. It's already done. I think that's the old tea that's still in there. <laughs> that's okay, twice brewed. Twice as flavorful. Whoop, dropping shit. Order up! The hell is that? Actually, it's wearing the same hair ornaments you are. Alright. <laughs> well, this game seems to be very bugged. So, seems promising. Still in early access, though, so can't really fault it too much. Um, the controls need a lot of work, like you should be able to pass things without dropping it, like that makes no sense. You should be able to set up some stuff without everything flying all over the place. <laughs> like the lid to this thing should snap on like way easier than it does. Like sometimes it just doesn't want to. It seems to be doing alright now, but. The whole tutorial segment could be done better instead of like each individual day. Just like do it all at once. Even from a storytelling standpoint, it seems weird because you're talking about how I'm working and I'm obviously not working. Overall though, a promising start. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please tune in again next time. Oh yeah, and also the angle is really off. That's the other thing I wanted to say. Like that's me holding a cup straight. <laughs> On index controllers, it does not work very well. Alright, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please tune in again next time.